Okay, we're recording. Not minimized. <laughs> All right. Okay, so here we are. All right, so we extra this slab in, and I've already made some changes to this. That's why that looks uh, different to yours. But what I wanted to highlight is that you can, once you've externally referenced something in, go back and modify the original, and then that uh, will reflect back into this drawing here. This drawing is called Xref Slab 01. Uh, what we have um, referenced in is actually a drawing called Slab 10 in my, in my case, and that's um, what that looks like. So if I go back to Slab 10, I can actually modify that. Um, and then that will be reflecting here. Yeah, so just open it up like that. I can do something else to it. So whatever you want to do, you can add stuff. You can do another um, polysolid, or you can click on it and, and do something to it. Um, let's see what we get when we click on it. Probably nothing. Resistance. Uh, let's just draw some something in here. Let's just draw a little box from here to yeah, there. We go and just go up a bit okay so I'll say i want to add that to the end of it okay all i've got to do is um I'll save this i've got to save and when i flick over to this drawing this will come up and it says that file has been changed by this person and it could be another fellow colleague somewhere else doing that uh, within the same office say or, or wherever and it will tell you when uh, someone's done that change or immediately. Alright, so what I'm going to do is click in here to reload it. And that brings that in immediately there. Uh, it's the same thing as going right clicking here and, so, and saying uh, reload. It's another way of doing it. Okay, so, so we'll just close that. So it's a reload. The other way you can do it is you can uh, there you, go. you can move that down, close that. Edit reference in place or open the reference. So at the moment the, the, the actual drawing is open, but that's just like doing what I did before. Trying file open and you open it. Um, we didn't talk about clipping as yet. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that, that's useful. Edit reference in place um, will allow me to uh, change it in here, but I think it won't let me do it because it is uh, maybe open. It's just telling me that it's a previous format at the moment, and it's saying cannot check it out because it's already open um, on it, so it's locked. But if I um, close that, that's what I don't need. If I close that. And if I go to here, really, it's going to be 15 minutes. Um, yeah, yeah, it doesn't have to increase it. Okay, so let's go to uh, open refer reference. There it is. I just opened it up for me. So it's a shortcut way of getting to it, okay? All right, so that's done. Uh, okay, so I'll close this. Um, and the other one was edit in place. I don't think we tried it, have we? Um, so let's click on here, edit reference in place. This one here, oh, it's pretty. There you go. So, uh, just be careful because yeah, you can you can add stuff. Um, where is it? You can save it once you're finished. Um, so in theory, I can go there. Not sure what it's doing. It's darkening things out. The bits that I can't touch, and it looks like I can't touch this other. Because when I did go into that reference, it was just pointing out that. The only thing, thing I can change is that symbol that we had in here. Um, and I'm not sure why it picked that up at this point. Um, but it looks like the only thing I can change is this. Um, I can move this along, for example. Uh, okay, well, that's a separate bit. So once I've done that, I can then go back, hopefully. Um, we can't find the... Sometimes this happens. We can't find the reference in here. This, it, you can then save the changes or discard it. So if I change, the, uh, if I save the changes, um, okay, like that, we should come back now, and uh, you see that. Um, well, we should see. I can't see. That's that's moved over, and that should be the same case as if I open that reference here by clicking here. 
going up in uh, up in reference, we should see if we turn this one to 2D that that is also modified in here. There it is. Okay. So a couple of ways of getting there. I'll just close this and go back here and talk about uh, just briefly about clipping, just so you know what that is. Images have the same thing. Uh, we can do uh, X clip. All right. So that if I click on here, it will come up with that menu again. Um, no, here you go. Clipping. Create clipping boundary. It's, um, X clip is the command. There it is. You can see it there. Uh, and we can do a so we can do a, a rectangular. Uh, it's probably better if we look at it from the top. So I can say, for example, um, oops, try again. I'll just erase that. Close it. Okay, let's just go to the top. Uh, to start with, top. Okay, X clip. I'll just type it in. X clip. We want to X clip this guy here. All right, that's what we got to do. We want, this, we want the sorry. We want to X clip the reference, the external reference. This one here, not the wall. All right, so. Um, we want to do a new one, and for new, all right, rectangular is fine, enter that, and I'll do that, okay, why did that not work, I did it work, it did work, there you go, okay, so it's basically hidden bits of that external reference, so if I uh, go back to this, uh, it is, uh, you might be able to see better, there you go. So it's basically just cut bits out. That's interesting. Uh, beams do not look very solid. Interesting. Anyway, don't worry about that. Okay, so that's what the next clip does, and you can actually um, get rid of that as well. You can remove the clipping and come back to normal. All right. So that's handy when you've got a big, you know, it's a big hospital. You can just sort of um, get rid of. Um, a lot of the stuff that you don't really need, and that's what it's good for printing purposes as well. But it makes the drawing faster as well if you when you're using it. All right, so uh, X ref, copy it in. See what we got in here. So we have got uh, if I right click here, we got find. All right, so unload actually will just um, unload it for the moment, and then it just makes it go away. Make it smaller. All right, so it's just gone, but I should be able to reload it when okay, it comes back in. Right, so it's just a way of, it's almost like turning the layer on and off. Okay, okay so that's that. Now we're we'll doing transmit as well, and I shouldn't go further, I think. Uh, just a quick thing here. Um, binding, all right, that's one thing we can look at. I will just leave it there, and I'll do the binding next, because it, it just requires a little bit of talking. So I'll continue straight into it. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, minimize this and uh,